Hello you lovely lot, this is a jelly print tutorial in which I use acrylic colors, some wallpaper and magazines from the 60s. Will they print? Well the answer is yes, would I publish this video otherwise? Hm. I was looking for a different look and got bored with the fashion magazines. I have a collection of magazines and catalogs of the 50s and 60s and none of them worked until I tried these photo magazines. Obviously, they have a lot of interesting photos inside. Most of them in black and white, which is best for transfer on jelly. Also, there are these lovely ads with a typical 60s layout. I will use some of these too. I am starting with this parrot here, using black acrylic paint for the magazine print. I apply it very thinly and when putting on the page, I only rub it ever so slightly. Too much pressure will cause all the black being consumed by the magazine page and not act as a resist anymore, which is the principle of this method. The printed result has a few blobs and the parrot is not visible so good. I guess with pages being 60 years old that some parts do not resist anymore due to aging. But I will develop this print now with colored pencil and fine liners. Here I am pressing down some hairy stuff from the dollar store, hoping to get a nest-like look. Later I will notice that I have printed my own fingerprint here, serving as the moon later. I am using fluid acrylics to pick up the print in this session and I like that they are very transparent but give a nice glowing intensity. As the print is quite dark, I use mainly white pencil to work out highlights, the parrot being the most important part. Usually I don't like to work out so much, as you always lose part of the natural print feel, but in this case I have to or the image would be too fuzzy for my liking. I am creating some leaf outlines from the photo, as they were not printed well. Not too many though.
You know me, anything that is there has to get a shadow. This fine liner by Uniball has a brush tip that is downright fantastic. Even flow of color and like a real fine brush. I love it. Now for a bit more color intensity on the bird. So here you can see my fingertip mark, which I left when pressing down the grassy stuff. It's funny and I have the idea of making a moon with it. And here is the finished image. I added a bit of definition of the grass and the bird with a fine liner and I am happy with it. This was a session in which I produced about 10 prints from various photos and graphics from the German 60s photo magazine using acrylics and I am going to make videos of at least 6 that I worked out one picture per video. Thanks for watching, please like or tell me what you did not like and consider subscribing. See ya!